Okay, welcome to Healthy Hair with Chanel. Woo-hoo! On the last six day of the month. The last six day of the month. Okay, reading from RTM Covenant. Number eight says, We are the temple of Yahweh. We shall not defile this temple. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 through 17. So, so be it. Number 9 says, The Spirit of Yahweh dwells in our body. Therefore, we shall glorify Yah in our body and in our spirit, which belongs to Him. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. So, so be it. it. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight to say welcome, Father. We just welcome you in this place. We pray that you be with us and help us to hear what you will have us to hear, Father, and to take away what you will have us to take away, Father. Nothing more and nothing less. We pray for our minds to be clear, Father, and just focus on you and hair, Father, and what we'll get from out of it tonight, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. 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 Woo! Oh, it's been a little while. Yeah. You've been here. How long has it been? Nine hundred and five months. Four months. Oh, it's been that long? For real? I don't know. I was like, has it really been that long? May. Is it really May? June. July. Oh. Oh. That's a long time. Wow. Anyways, I didn't realize that. But we back in it, right? Yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah. Okay, on class. But <laughs> the last time we met, we went over a questionnaire, yeah. right? Okay. Right. And you guys had answered all those questions, and we went over them and all the whatnots. And you guys were supposed to bring in pictures, uh-huh. your before and after. Does anyone bring in any today? Yeah. On, Facebook. Hmm? on Facebook. On Facebook? Someone brought them. What? Oh, you want us to print it? No. Oh, mine's on the computer. Yeah, okay. I brought mine. Okay, Elder Linnell brought hers. I guess I'll bring it up. So we can take a look and see her progress. Yay. Um. Because the point of that was to just see the progress that we all made that we probably couldn't see with our natural eye. And just again, the habit of taking pictures to see the progress often. Okay. Okay, here's, well, I'll go to show people. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Alright, we'll have to do this probably next class. But just um other than I had a picture that she put on Facebook from April third, twenty eleven, June sixteenth, two thousand and twelve, and August thirteenth, two thousand twelve, which was very recent. Mm-hmm. And pretty much she says that she found okay. So I'm just going to read it. So thanks again, Chanel McCall, as my hair is steadily growing. I finally made it to the three-inch mark on the Hair Lisa shirt. So before she started out, she didn't even hit the one. <laughs> and now she made it to the three. Also. <laughs> and then she said, however, I'm still not retaining as much length as I should, even though I've been keeping my ends covered. Well, mostly, I'm getting better. I guess I need more tucking. So not only does she put her progress pics in soft progress, but she also knows what she needs to be doing in order to keep those results and get even better results, which is a point of this class. So she's getting it. All right, moving on. Um, so on the question here, um, you guys did a lot of questions and answering, and I just want to focus on um, number four, which was my overall hair goal. And you guys should know what your overall hair goal is. We went over it last time. And so what we're going to do is because, like, you guys are 
learning and get, um, getting to some results and not as much as you would like, I went ahead and I sent you out another document. It's called the Six Month Hair Challenge. And this is what we're going to be doing from now till February and helping you with Chanel because you guys have been on your hair journey for at least a year, uh -huh. so you, you know what's going on, but now it's time to get serious because I've been noticing like some people are slacking or some people just need that extra bump, like that extra push, that discipline that will come across their mind, but because there's not really any consequences or anything, mm -hmm. you guys are kind of like, yeah, I'll do it next week, oh, yeah. I'll do it the week after, I'm not going to moisturize and seal today. So, um, pretty much what the six month hair challenge is, is something that I did to start out my hair journey. Pretty, um, it's more or less, it's a little bit more lenient because I went a little bit more hardcore mm -hmm. when I first started, but um, with you guys, I thought we'd go a little easy. Okay, okay. so um, you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so this, um, at the end of this challenge, you guys should see um, overall, better health in your hair. Just be a better condition, like you you should get softer hair, you should get a little bit more shinier hair, and of course with healthy hair comes length. So you should also see some length. But we're gonna focus on the healthy part and pretty much the regimen part, just getting into that routine of a regimen, and that's what this is about. So the rules for the six month hair challenge is you have to wash or co-wash your hair at least once a week. And these rolls all have like at least in front. So you can do it more often as you see fit. But for you guys, to, like there's no like option. Like it's not optional. You have to do it. Okay. Um, yes, I'll do it now. Um. Just, okay. Yeah. okay. I just want to make sure I understand. Co-wash just means washing your hair with conditioner instead of shampoo? That is correct. Okay. Yes. Give a hand clap for for asking that question. Yes. So washing, we know, is with shampoo. And co-washing is with conditioner. The choice is up to you. Um, whether you feel your hair needs to be thoroughly cleaned or just, you know, added moisture. Or you can do both if you want to throughout the week. But for this challenge, you at least have to do one. Okay. At least once a week. No exceptions. Okay. The second thing is, and um, for the men out there, we're not really um, looking for any length or too much just to keep healthy hair. You pretty much only have to do rules one, two, and that's pretty much it. So then the second rule is all scalp at least twice a week. Okay. And then, okay, let me go back to the washing. The importance of washing your hair is so you don't get build up on your scalp and you keep your hair clean and your scalp clean. That is the whole point of washing and co-washing. So that, of course, if you're keeping your scalp and your hair clean, you're gonna keep your hair healthy. So oiling the scalp at least twice a week. Now I do mine pretty much every day, but I also wash my hair a little bit more than just once a week. So the importance of oiling your scalp, and you can choose whatever oil you want um, based on the research that we did and the classes that we had, you should um, know. But if you don't know or you need help, let's talk about it today. But you should oil your scalp twice a week. One, because the oils, as we know, learn have benefits to them. Mm -hmm. and. Um, they also keep your scalp moisturized. You don't want a dry scalp because dry scalps will keep your hair flaky, it'll give you dandruff, and they'll just, overall, it's not healthy to have a dry scalp. Okay. So, we want to oil our scalp. Also, when you oil your scalp, not only are you receiving the benefits such as moisture, or you might receive growth, or um, depending on what oil you use, mm -hmm. um, it also soothes the scalp as well. So, that's what we want. We just we just don't want our hair to be itchy all the time. We want to just, you know, keep it soothing and it'll help us grow. And it gets our scalp the nutrients that we need, which will produce healthy, growing hair. Okay, any okay. questions on the oil? Nope. Nope, and the oil, okay, we'll talk about that. The next one is a hot oil treatment for this challenge. Yes, ladies, you have <laughs> to do a hot oil treatment at least once a month. 
Yes, I was very lenient with that because I did my hot oil treatments at least once a week. Okay. So once a month, it's just, you just, it's just to get that in you, just to get you, you sweat. And hot oil treatments is just like um, oiling your scalp, except the benefits are for the hair. Hot oil treatments, as we learned, it helps put your hair, restore your hair, like if your hair is dry or brittle or dull looking, it'll bring it back to life, it'll help it look more moisturized. And the, um, the oil will also give your scalp, which will help that to grow healthier and stuff like that. And it also seals the cuticles that you don't want like open and kind of closes them. So we have to do that once a month, no exceptions. You guys are in this class, we are growing up. We have to do this, okay? Trust me, oh it will all be worth it at the end. Yay. You will be so glad you did. Okay. Okay. And also with that, you can use any oil you want. Okay, then we have to deep condition at least once a week. And this is pretty lenient as well. But the importance of deep conditioning, guys, like I can't stress enough how important deep conditioning is. It just keeps your hair alive. I, okay, our hair is technically dead. Well, I'm just saying it helps it look alive. Like it helps, it gives it that moisture, it gives it that extra oomph. It's like, what's a good example? Like, taking a bath with candles or something. Like, it just relaxes you and gives you like that energy to keep going kind of or whatever. It de-stresses you. Deep conditioning is kind of like that for your hair. It's just, it's kind of like a spa treatment for your hair. It's like, it goes, it, so much manipulation, so much um, harsh weather, you know, it's dealing against everything. Deep conditioning is just giving it that little vacation that it needs. And you need to do that at least once a week. This also is the main um, combat for hair breakage. So if your hair is breaking, deep conditioning will fix that for you if you do it often. And for this challenge, once a week is, it should be enough to see results. Okay, and um, the deep conditioning and hot oil treatment, uh, if you want to do that in the same day, go ahead, but I would do it. Oh no, because you guys are doing hot oil treatment once a month. Sorry, I do my hot oil treatment once a week. So okay, never mind. Whenever you do that, it's up to you. Deep conditioning should be done though on your wash days, not separate from your wash days. Okay. So um, if you shampoo wash, I recommend you deep condition after you shampoo wash. If you deep, con if you cold wash, you can do it before or after, whichever you feel comfortable with. Okay. But if you wash because you're like taking all the stuff out of your hair, deep conditioning will put that back in your hair. Does this making sense? Yep. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Next part of the challenge is to moisturize and seal at least every other day. Check. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty much self-explanatory. Our hair is dry and we need to keep it moisturized. It also combats, combats breakage. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Any questions? Yeah, can we skip the next one? Yeah, let's skip the next one. The next one is actually the most lenient of all of them. Three heat passes per month, which means if you have to, you may use heat on your hair at least three times a month. And by at least, I mean at most three times a month. <laughs> so that's what heat passes on. When I first started, I did not use heat on my hair at all. Like, I was just that hardcore on myself. Like, no heat. Unless I was on a lift check or something. But yes, for this challenge, guys, I'm telling you, three times a month is so much for your hair. So we are gonna be disciplined. And if you can do zero a month, I, me, okay? And I'm still debating on whether I wanna do it kinda like layover minutes or whatever, where if you don't use, like if you only use two heat passes this month, you can go ahead and carry it over to the next month. So you can have four heat passes. But I don't know about that. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm still debating on that. But for now, it's just gonna be three. Got it? Yeah, if I catch y'all, whatever, do what you will, but I we'll know by the end of the six months yeah. how much you've been doing. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Yes. 
Then the last one is a protein treatment at least once a month. And that is necessary. I put that in here because your hair needs protein. And if you're doing all of this to your hair, like so far we got all the stuff in this regimen is pretty much to moisturize your hair and keep it moisturized. But if your hair is nothing but getting but moisture, 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 pretty soon it's going to just be a little bit too moisturized and it's going to start breaking as well like we learned. So we need that protein to kind of just wake it back up and just strengthen it up, strengthen the strands back up. So we need to do that at least once a month. Okay? okay. Any questions for this six month hair challenge, guys? I'm saying this is not that bad, but it's still enough to get serious results in okay. six months. Trust me, you stick to this, you will be at that number six before you know it. Woo! I'm a teacher. I'm so <laughs> serious. I'm not even kidding. All right, so what I want you guys to do is to fill out this. Um, I don't even want to do it now. Your hair, what your hair goal is and what your regimen is, you don't have to do it right now. But the ones below that is the products you will be using. Because I don't want you guys to leave here without knowing what products you will be using to be a part of this challenge. So go ahead and fill it out. The shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, Hot oil, moisturizer, the oil you'll be sealing your hair with, heat protectant, and a protein treatment you will be using. And if you need to use um, the past PowerPoints, go ahead. If you need to look up some stuff online, go ahead. And if you need to ask me what I recommend or if this is good to use, like the ingredients or whatever, go ahead and ask me now. So um, I'll give you guys about five to ten minutes to fill that out. and. Um, like I said, at the bottom, if you don't have the product or the funds to purchase the products, please see me. I might have something in my um at home that I'll let you guys borrow until you find something that you need. So go ahead and take five to minutes to fill this out, and when you're done, just say healthy hair and well discuss. Okay.
just gonna put this out there for, um, like I said, with the men, that you only have to do the first and second one, wash, co-wash them once a week and all stop twice a week. Um, if you're one of the men that's trying to grow out your hair, you gotta do the rest of this too. Because long hair needs the rest of this stuff in order to stay healthy. Okay. Shall we? Sure. Okay. okay, um, let's go back. You guys want to do my hair goal, you just right there, just put what your hair goal is. And when it says my regimen, your regimen is pretty much the rules, what you see up there. But um, what you're going to put here is a little bit more in detail and in depth, such as if you're going to wash or co-wash your hair, if you're gonna stick to one time once a week, go ahead and put once a week. But if you plan on doing it twice a week, say um put twice a week. Also, when you put my regimen, go ahead and put what days you plan on doing this. Because if you have set days, you'll make it a habit and a routine. So you say I'm gonna wash my hair once a week every second day or something like that. Okay? Time to clear. Okay, products I will be using. I'll start off, then we can go to Elder Felina and then Elder Linnell, and then anyone else if they want to chime in. I don't know who's online or the pastor wants to chime in. But products I will be using for this six month challenge is the shampoo 
if you don't know me by now, I use herbal essence, long-term relationship, the red one for long hair, because yes, berry juice, it smells amazing, and it does my hair wonders. Okay, <laughs> Elder Polina. Neutrogena Triple Moisture Cream Lavo Shampoo. Woo! Yeah, you I know, know that one. one. Yeah. Okay, Elder the Sam. Suave Clarifying Shampoo. Okay, okay. It's coconut, right? If you say so. Okay. Pastor, do you want to chime in? Mm-hmm. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Go for it, dude. Yes, uh, coconut shampoo. Yeah. That's why. Oh, so that's all for the new Thank you. Alright, you're probably going to stop right now. Shampoo. Very healthy, probably not. Yeah. Okay. Conditioner. For me, um, after I shampoo and condition my hair with Herbal Essence Long Term Relationship Conditioner. <laughs> but for co washing, which is what I put on here when I have my conditioner, is the Aussie Moist Conditioner. It's amazing too. Okay. Is it a purple bottle? Dark purple bottle, yes. Okay, I was a bit confused with that, but you cleared it, cleared it up when you said that because. I have Neutrogena triple moisture hair, but I should have that under my deep condition. For co-washing, I have like a, um, I think it's VO5. Um, so they, yes. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's a good one. That's a great one. Yeah. Okay, Nanya. <gasps> Herbal essence. None, none of your frizzness. I didn't write my moisturizing deep conditioner only because I'm experimenting with a few. It's usually the Neutrogena Triple Moisture, but I'm experimenting right now with another one. So I haven't really made my decision on which one I'm going to use for the six month challenge because the Neutrogena Triple Moisture I've used for like two years straight. And I'm just getting kind of bored with it. Just want to experiment, see what else is out there. If nothing else is better, we're right back. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. All right. All right. Uh, That's Neutrogena. Neutrogena. Triple moisture here. Deep conditioner. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Elder Lindell. 
tend to shape by the conditioning. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a deep conditioning. Oh. I think that's a leave-in conditioning. Leave it in deeply. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not acceptable. Okay. So we're going to have to, um, like let's see, we live together, so let me see what deep conditioner is probably best for you. Do you still have that do one? Yeah. You might want to use the do deep conditioner. Okay. 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 And I didn't put, if you noticed by now or you haven't, I haven't, I didn't put leave-in conditioner on here. Because um, although I recommend it, it's not exactly exactly necessary to keep your hair healthy. Because some people can go without deep, I mean, leave-in conditioners to keep their hair healthy. But like a, that's why you have that spot for my regimen uh -huh. to add that in there if you do use it, which I will be using. Just so you know. Okay. Okay. So you doing do grow? Yep. Okay. Okay. Asher, you doing deep conditioning or no? Uh, no, but I wanted to comment on something that, that I heard. Uh, I, you say you was going to go out and see what's out there and if there's nothing better than coming back. Mm -hmm. I, I, me, I, I think if you find something and if you're not broke, you don't try to fix it. Because yeah. I think what we do is extension of stuff that's in us. And if we put physical action behind it and start manifesting it, it'll creep up in other areas of our life. In other words, I mean, we'll do it this way, eating this way, but let me just go see what's out there. And that's one thing, if, you know, it's not working or you heard something that's better, and it's another thing just to be curious, uh, playing around. It's just my opinion. No, it's not, it's just the truth. But, I mean, you know, your hair, I think I think this hair thing really should be an outward manifestation of what we do in spiritual. Yeah, I just want to come in on that. Okie dokie. I hear it and receive it. Give five hand clap praise for everybody sharing. <laughs> okay. But I agree with that. Um, yes. I'm not gonna add one to it because I can't. But yes. Oh. Yes, Elder. I have a question on the deep conditioner. If you put the cap on and you sit under a hair dryer, does that count as your heat pass? Oh no, it does not. No. See, let me tell you something about a hair dryer. Because <laughs> a hooded hair dryer is indirect heat. That will never count as your heat pass. So if you roller set and you tuck your ends or you have a cap on, because it's air, it's technically air drying your hair. Oh. Because it's subtle and it's indirect and it's kind of just hovering around your head. Now, blow dryer is different because that is direct heat. That heat is blowing so hard directly okay. on your hair that it's pretty much burning it. Okay. So that's different. That would be a heat pass. But a hooded dryer, no, it's just pretty much air okay. on your head. So yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Next is the hot oil treatment. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hot oil I'll be using is the Dior Amla Indian Hair Oil. Yes. I mean, I know what works. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be using. Yeah, I'm fancy, huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're fooling you. Extra virgin olive oil. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it. It's funny that you say you're fancy because I wrote down fancy oil that Chanel got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not specific enough for this challenge. I don't know it's a hot oil. six oil. No, the little bottle that she got me for Christmas. Oh, that's an um, olive oil mixture. But that's not going to last all six months. Wait, we did hot oil treatment one time? Yes. Oh, okay, so you did. But you're gonna need another one for the next well, This is three months. You're cheating. <laughs> okay, this this is okay. Right <laughs> on um, olive oil. I think it's called hot olive oil of some kind of brand. So the hot olive oil pretty much. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I think pasta is done. Right? 
You're not doing the rest of this right. Uh -huh. Okay. Moisturizer. Moisturizer I'm going to be using. Right. I have two. Okay, go ahead. As, as we pick out this stuff, you know, carefully, I like that. Um, I want to comment on that oil because you know they use oil to anoint. Uh, oh, yeah. In scripture, and I heard someone use that terminology uh, in, when it came to cooking. The anointed something that was cooking with the oil. And I didn't know how to take that, whether it was a mockery or whether it was their passion. I think, you know, like a hot oil treatment and all this work that goes into it, I think, you know, the oil that you pick out, I mean, I would, because I know how the enemy like to corrupt the things of y'all, I would really do my little research and see, you know, if it hasn't been contaminated and treat it, you know, as, as, as it ought to be treated, you know, you know, as a spiritual thing. I mean, as you put in this work in your hair, you know that though. The woman's hair scripture says it's a glory. And a lot of women don't want to work on their hair. They don't want to do the things that it takes. So I think, you know, we'll, you know, how, how you're picking out the oil very carefully is a, is a, is a great, great thing that, that it should really be, you know, something special. And something special, you just don't really do it every day, you know. You know, it eventually becomes a new day for some aspect. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Something as special as the hot oil treatment or whatnot, you know, just something to I do. Mm -hmm. I agree. If I can't stop praying for that word. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Well, I'll be mad at you for something. But, um, moisturizer. Like I was saying, um, I use two moisturizers because I'm picky. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, it's just sometimes moisturizers work on my hair and then sometimes it's like I don't want to work in it. So I have to switch up sometimes. But the two main ones that I use are the Organic Stimulator Moisturizer that I brought here. And then the other one is a Silken Child Moisturizing Cream that I've only found at Sally's. And it's not really easy to find, but I love it because um, the main ingredients are water, <coughs> coconut oil, olive oil, and it's sweet almond oil, I think. But those are the main ingredients. Yeah, I mean, so it's pretty much a natural moisturizer for the most part. I'm pretty sure it has chemicals a little bit farther down in the ingredient list, but that one smells amazing and it moisturizes my hair. What's the name of that one? Silken Child, S-I-L-K-E-N, Child Moisturizing Cream. And it comes in a little red bottle. Kind of looks like the berry juice a little bit, just a little thicker. And it smells good. Just like the berry juice. I mean, what do you think about that? I like my products to smell good. <coughs> okay, Elder Felipe. I'm a little confused on this one. Um, because I put the Can Do Shea Butter Leave In Conditioner and Repair Cream as a moisturizer. But then I look back on um, the first slideshow mm -hmm. and. I saw the escrow stuff, and I was using escrow during the winter months, and during the summer, I really haven't found anything that I like, so. So that one's still an experimentation? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's fine. Um, just pick one for now, and like, like that goes for any of these products. Like, we're picking one for now, and, yeah. and what you're saying today, I'm expecting you to stick with it, but if you end up changing the next month that we meet, Go ahead and mention that because we're going to be doing this for six months and it's okay because you'll learn that oh this is not this is not working or i want this i found something that works better which is fine but i'd rather you not keep switching but like you already know ahead of time that it's probably going to be switched okay that's fine okay just the next time we meet just just yeah. probably have one yeah okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. biofusion you know me yeah. Oh, yeah. I know about that. All right. That one's been working for you. Mm -hmm. Pastor, anything to say? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got our moisturizers. <laughs> okay, our oil to seal with. <laughs> Mine is extra virgin coconut oil. 
the purest, bestest oil in the world. Just saying. <laughs> Number one, all well comes out. Yeah. Coconut oil is what I'll be still with. Oh, the Felina? I'm getting hungry. I have <laughs> Dubro Mega Big Growth Oil. Hi, Ali. That's what she said. Oh, man. This might not be no fancy oil. Hot six. Hot six. Oh, okay. That's. I love that oil, too. <laughs> it's all the oils and white oils. So, she's getting all the things. It says six, but when you look at the ingredients, it has more than six. Yes. Yes. Mixed in there. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Heat protected. Um. Yeah, I need to have using this actually. So I was having fun on those. Yeah. Okay. Heat protected. I'm using Fantasia IC. Which comes with a little pink serum. Little bottle. That I use that. I've had that for a really now because I don't use it much. But yeah. Okay. 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 Um, just another question I have with this, because I don't put any kind of heat on my hair. Mm -hmm. Um, so I interpreted that as like protection from the UV rays. Okay. It's protected. So I put the, the Neutrogena, um, that's my gem. And that's Yes, yes. Okay. touch leave in with my UV shield. Yes. Yeah, I know about that. <laughs> yeah, the heat protectant, I put this because, um, of the three heat passes that I gave y'all a month, that's what that was mainly for. Okay. But yeah, um, go ahead. That's protecting yeah. it from the heat still. Okay. I got a cheat too. Well, that's hot six. That ain't gonna work now. It says heat protecting on it. It says heat protecting on hot six? Yeah. Alright. I'll take your word for that. If I go home and see it doesn't, we're gonna switch that up. But if it says it, okay. Then that is acceptable. Uh, then again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that being a heat protectant. Nope, I guess I need one. It don't say it. It don't say it? <laughs> <laughs> Not in this picture. We got 15 herbs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, recommendation? Recommendation, there's the Fantasia IC. And another one that's Oh, that's what I got. Yeah. Yeah, I will say, I think you used that with me. Okay. And then the, another recommendation is Tresemme Heat Protecting. That one's highly recommended. Okay. I've never used it, but I've read the reviews on it and did some research on it. And that one's good. Okay, and the protein treatment. My favorite. I'm using Organic Root Stimulator Hair Mayo mixed with. One egg. Yes. And egg. some olive oil. Need some bacon and grits. <laughs> <laughs> no bacon and grits. My hair don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they, they just like the, the eggs that oil. And they some mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's fine. That's okay. And coconut. Um, silk elements, mega cholesterol conditioning treatment. I know about that. that. Yep. I think. The ingredients I'm thinking about that, I'm pretty sure that that's protein in it. Okay. That's a light protein, but... So I need something that, um... I don't know your hair. Sometimes you might need a heavier. If, um, is it working for you? Yeah. Okay. Well, well I'll accept that. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that has protein in it. Okay. Woo! I would say let that one sit, though. When you do oh, that wow. protein treatment, let it sit. Maybe like a deep condition. Okay. Okay. Apple G protein treatment. Apple G protein treatment. Is it the two step or the two minute? Yeah, I'm getting deep on you. Yeah, it's the two step, but I only got one part of it. <laughs> okay, you know what to do with the other part, right? The, the yeah, it's actually when we get home. The second part is just decondition after. Oh. After protein treatment, you're supposed to decondition after. But with um, Elder's case, she's using a light protein, so she, she doesn't really need to. Your yeah, light protein is kind of like my um, deep conditioner, the organic root stimulator. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay. But my hair needs more protein than that. Okay. That's okay. And that wraps up the products that we will be using for the good one hair challenge. That you will get guaranteed results for yeah. your money back. Yes. I'm yes. just saying. Yes. Yeah. And 
Um, for the next yep, six months, like I said, we're going to be discussing this, what you guys are up to, what you're doing, what's working for you, what isn't. And we're also going to be discussing the products that we chose. So once you guys um, go ahead and write your hair goal and your regimen in detail, send it to me so I can approve it. And then I'll send it back to you or I'll just bring it all in the next time we meet next month. And we're going to go over it because I really want you guys to see results because I know this stuff works like without a doubt. Like you guys have been getting results, but I know that you can get better results. Like I know your hair can be better than what you imagine just by sticking to this regimen. And I'm going to prove it to you. <laughs> and you're going to prove it to yourselves. Yes. And if um, you guys come across another product or something that you end up changing, um, pray about it and bring it in the next time we come so um, we can see if it's okay to use. Okay. But like I said, I'd rather you not switch products for six months. Okay? okay. We're going to wrap things up right now. Any questions? Anybody have any questions for what they've been doing with their hair? Something's not working? Are they getting a little bit more shedding? Has the weather been just messing it up and you don't know what to do? Anything you want to talk about? Because if not, I'll just wrap it up. You know, for me, what have I done? Oh, I relaxed my hair today and I see that I'm one and a half inch away from waistline. Wow. Awesome. So hopefully by December, that's four months from now. Hopefully December I'll be at waist one. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. I'm excited for that. Yeah. And yeah, I'm pretty much using all the same products I've been using forever. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's really changed in my regimen. For the summer I I added like a couple of extra cold washes, but Oh, I added a humidity spray that was hairspray, but I'm not really feeling that because it feels like chemicals in my hair. Oh. So it's like, yeah, it worked, but I'm like... The Garnier? I'm not feeling it. No, it was, um... What's that expensive stuff? Oh. Hmm? I cannot think of it. To save my life. Frida? What? John Frida? The over the counter, you ordered it. No, you can totally get that anywhere. You can get that at Walmart. No, I'm gonna find that name for y'all. Lexus okay. Nexus. Yes. Uh, Nexus. Uh, <laughs> Nexus Humectris <laughs> Humidity Spray. Cost me like twelve bucks. Yes. That was expensive. Yeah. But yeah. That's why I was like, I'm gonna use it. Yeah. But yeah, that that one right now is in the storage. If any of you guys use hairspray and you need something for humidity. Um, I don't like chemicals in my hair, but I know some of you guys, like, as long as you keep it clean and you know what you're doing with it, it, it shouldn't do anything bad to your hair. You know what? I'm keeping that hairspray in my room. I'm like, yeah, y'all, so never mind. Yeah. <laughs> y'all still trying to figure out what y'all doing, no. so let's let's just, no hairspray. I should put that in here. Yeah. Um, no hairspray. But yeah, that's what I've been doing with my hair. You have something to say? Yes. Um, I really really got into the um, what do you call it the low manipulation hairstyle mm -hmm. yeah I know and less breakage um, I'm loving it and yes. um, I tried to go a week without doing it and combing it every day and it was like why did I do this so um, I'm yep. the low manipulation right. hairstyle low manipulation that's what I'm talking about yeah this heat on my hair was like the first time in months and I'm just like I don't know if I'm so bored with straight hair. Yeah, like, let's go back up to my braid outs and low manipulation, so I don't gotta keep combing it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See, Elo now got her hair protective. Oh, yes. Yes, all the hand clap braids for the hair. Be protecting her ends. And just be careful with taking it out. Oh, no, I have to right. say that. Just be careful because you could lose all your hard work. It's okay, I'm recruiting someone who knows about hair. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but okay. That be all. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. And you guys have any questions, you know about Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And we can discuss there. I uh, like more discussion on there. I've been putting a few things up there. I know other than Nell has and other than has been too. So let's just keep that up.
out. And see you guys next month. Yay! Pastor, you want to come up and dismiss?
But I'm going to sit down here with you and I say, just take it off at a certain time. And I tell you what, no matter what had happened during that day, I remember the joy of cooking. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I got excited, I came home, I tried to tell, tell my wife, oh, we got to do this, you know. Because if you're going to understand, you, you got to have a passion to live. No. You got to have something that, that gets you up to do something. Yeah. And it may not mean nothing to nobody else. Now everybody in here don't taste my cooking. Yeah. They, they know I, I'm okay in the kitchen. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's the passion and it's the drive. Mm -hmm. And so with your hair, it's a passion, it's a drive. It ought to be awesome to it. Because so somebody's going to say all oh, this and all that. And they're picking, they ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Not one single thing. I tell you, man, uh, from a man's point of view, and, and I, tell, I tell people this. That box stuff and that easy way out, that ain't cutting it. Mm -hmm. Right now, right now, box food will hurt me more. But processed food <coughs> because of all the chemicals in it. Yeah. All the salt in it. Fresh food. Well, it, it do what it's supposed to do. Build me up. Yeah. So I'm saying, don't let somebody tear down your joy. Do you hear what I'm saying? Well, yeah. There's a lot of sneaky things going on. And I told you guys, I warned you guys so many times. And if you let them steal your joy, you're going to end up being a slave to somebody else's passion. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You're going to end up being a slave to somebody else's passion. Mm -hmm. Y'all all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, get a father hand cut for free. He told me this, and you can take it how you want to take it. He told me, he said, they that bless you, I'm going to bless. They that curse you, I'm going to curse. And I'm sitting up there and I'm thinking, you know, that was Abraham, you know, did. And I'm, I'm, I'm meditating like that. And, 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 and it just came on me. I, I, I feel it on the anointing now. I'm, I'm holding it back. He said, they that bless you, I'm going to bless. They that curse you, I'm going to curse. So I'm telling you, be blessed. <laughs> be blessed. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Be blessed. Yeah. Woo, glory. You, man, I don't know if you heard what I said. Be blessed. Be blessed. Yes. Be blessed. That's what I want. Oh, man. Come on, give Father a hand clap of praise. Let's get up on here. We might uh, like again on the first day, and we're going to do what we do. Uh, keep telling folks about it. Invite them to come on out. Have a good time. And uh, just go let me roll. Amen. I'm going to stand to our feet and get on. Let's give a hand for Ella there. We ain't seen her in a month or Sundays. Oh. We only have Sundays here. Yes. <laughs> oh, Come on. Look at somebody and say, You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Wow. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. I said, Somebody. I bet if I was say, look at somebody and tell them you curse you, you look good. <laughs> look at somebody and tell them you're blessed. You're blessed. Come on, look at somebody else and tell them you're blessed. You're blessed. The power in your words. Hey. Tell them this. You're blessed. Look at, I just look at somebody. Look at somebody. You know what I mean? Look at somebody. You tell them. Choices. <laughs> Ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth. And the truth. Gonna make you free. Gonna make you free. And you know what? And you know what? The truth. The truth. It is. It is. What it is. What it is. Now be blessed. Now be blessed. Come on, get the Father. Can't make me. You're dismissed.